Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Navis Work Manage tutorial. We are going through the viewpoint tab. This is a very important tab that has a sectioning panel within this tab. I'm gonna go through all the panels inside the viewpoint tab. We're gonna start with the save, load. Also, you're gonna go to the camera, navigation, and then you're gonna hit the rendering cell, how to export an image, and go to the sectioning tool. And I'm gonna go through all the panels within the sectioning tool. It's gonna to show you the differences between plane and box and how to adjust the size and how to utilize those. So if you like the content, please make sure you subscribe and leave a like and let's jump into Navisworks so we can start our review. Looking at the view tab. Uh, let's just go to the tab, see what we have. So the first one, we're going to start with the save, load, and playback. You can see the save viewpoint plus record. So as soon as you click on, you'll be able to see the viewpoint. You can also right-click in the save viewpoints panel to create a viewpoint. So viewpoint is going to give you the ability to jump from one location to another location. You can also create uh, like a recorded viewpoint. So you can basically just move around, uh, go to like a different location, anywhere you want, uh, move to any area that you need, and then basically stop. You can see it's going to create an animation for you with all the frames. So basically, it's going to create a viewpoint for you. And if you click on it and you hit uh, play, you'll be able to see it's basically following uh, the most uh, walkthrough or the fly through that you have and kind of create viewpoint for every single move that you can do. This is going to be a great thing to create a quick fly through if you want to share it with your team. Um, also, if you kind of uh, click that button is uh, hide and unhide the saved viewpoint panel for you. So the next one is going to be camera. So right here, you can see the perspective and ortho is uh, not uh, basically active. Um, so if you are on walk or fly through, the ortho is not going to be active. You have to be on pan um, that you'll be able to kind of see. So as soon as you click on walk through or fly through, it basically just go automatically to perspective. Field of view, it's basically you can zoom any viewpoint that you have with a different zoom uh, this number is going to be adjusted and you need to kind of go and update that viewpoint that you have so if i go back to the old one 47 the new one 68 and you can kind of adjust this and uh, go over there but just make sure you update that viewpoint so 47 we used to have 68 right now 35.9 but you need to update camera alignment so you can align to x-axis y-axis z-axis and also you can basically manually align it to your view so this is going to be a kind of a quick alignment if you want to get to a certain point using that item showing tilt bar it's basically you can kind of see this area moving up and down and you have to be in walkthrough mode so if you go to a pan so this is kind of um contrary with um, the perspective versus ortho so for looking the tilt you need to be in a walkthrough mode and then also you can um um, adjust everything else that you want the next panel navigate so this is the steering wheel is going to give you multiple options you can go with the classic with the basics with kind of more items you can also you want to get rid of that uh, just hit the x is going to go back so you can see you have all the different tools uh, to use it whatever you kind of feels comfortable pan zoom window orbit all accessible on the panel also on the navigation bar uh, on the right hand side you can see basically all the items orbit so this is a, a three different options on the orbit that i would like to 
go over those items with you so the first thing is when you go on orbit you can see there's like a th uh, three different one so the first one is just a basically the orbit if you select an object in the model when you hit orbit it basically orbits the model around that object that is selected if you don't select anything basically the location that you click that's going to be the pivot point but right now the selected item is going to be the pivot point freehand you can see it's going to go in different angles so the other one that we use is just the orbit is going to be on x and y and then this is, is only kind of going around the z-axis so if you want to have a constraint you can use uh, the constraint orbit freehand all the axis and then the orbit just x and y so you have it on z x and y and free orbit so that's going to be a difference between those items look around um, you can have it in the panel also you'll be able to access it through the navigation it's going to move right and left uh, look at if you select this and kind of click on any object it's going to basically align the view to the area that you select on for better view and the last one is kind of focus so basically it's kind of takes the focus of the view to that object that you click on and all of these items as we talked about is going to be accessible on the navigation bar walk through fly through these are all accessible you can kind of hold your right mouse uh, button and just kind of move around use the scroll button to zoom in and out so realism you want to have a per third person uh, you can also uh, activate the collision uh, gravity uh, and crotch over uh, on these so right now you saw that i can go through the wall but as soon as i uh, check the box it basically show me that obstruction if not going to go through it and also if there's going to be any pipe or anything that you're walking through the third person is going to kind of bend down and go uh, under that render style lighting uh, basically give you a different option to see it with a different um, lighting to that but before we go to that, I want to talk about this navigation bar. So this is the angular speed, linear speed. So if your model is kind of moving really fast, just make sure you adjust this number. So this is the location that you can go and adjust. Going back to the render style, uh, full light, scene light, um, no light, headlight. This is basically depends on the model that come in it and the way that you want to see um, which one looks better. Uh, modes you can have full render shaded wireframe hidden i always leave it unshaded because full render is going to take away all the powers so i'll just want to make sure i'll just leave it unshaded for the meetings uh, that's going to be the best mode to kind of review items the next one is basically if you turn those boxes on and now if you can see notes objects lines and points in your model just make sure you have the um, the object so you can see the whole stuff um, image if you want to take a snapshot of the area it's basically create a jpeg or png of this view that you see and you can export um to um to basically if you want to share with anyone but this is the most important one which is enable sectioning so if you want to use section in navis this is a location that you need to come so the first one has a plane and box so let's just stick with plane for now this is all the plane that we have so you have six different plane you can basically turn all of them on and off and assign uh, alignment to each of those planes so the first one that i have basically i'm assigning type to plane one so i'm kind of going up and down right now i'm going to do the bottom so you can see i'm going to using the the bottom if you want to do left right align to the view so right now my view is this it's going to align it to that one so uh and also if you align to surface you basically click on eat any surface and it's going to align the cross section to that uh surface that you have so this is basically a great tool if you want to go uh, very very fast from one point to another point so let me turn on another plane and then right now we know our plane is basically uh, kind of have up and down so I want to do the plane one for top and the plane 
two for bottom so you can see right now i have this moving kind of up and down and then uh, when i have to go to plane one to change it to see everything from the top but if you link section plane it's basically link top and bottom for you so you can kind of move your tool up and down the move tool and you don't have to change the plane because those two planes are linked and anytime you want to unlink you simply click on the link section plane it's going to break the link and then you can kind of do it separately but if you want any uh, planes connect to each other you can kind of use these uh, item this is a really helpful in the meeting if you want to show a specific area and you don't have to do it also you can use the rotation um, you can save a viewpoint of that area uh, that you need so let's go to the box so when you go to the box uh, the plane settings is going to be grayed out because you don't need them you only need the scale and the scale is you want to scale the box like how much you want to see in a box so if you want to isolate an electrical room mechanical room a specific room that you want to go over it in a meeting this is a way to do it so you can basically create a box for that area um, and then you can adjust them you can save a viewpoint and in any meeting you can simply click on that and everything is going to be preset for you so let's say i want to go to that box i just click on it and bam i can go over there and just move stuff around and see how everything is going to do so this is a very great tool and helpful in the meetings if you want to jump from one location to another location and look at a certain um, item in any area